Hey guys, it's Becky Bamboo. Today is <clears throat> Tuesday, December 7th, 2010. So I promised you a video of my Christmas decorations and I've yet to get around to it. So that's what today's video is. I'm going to talk fast. I'm going to move fast because I have a lot of stuff and recording on my phone. It's not going to let me do a very long video. So here we go. I'm in my office. In my office, you will find I have one miniature Christmas tree. Um, this tree has a few decorations on it that are ones I've bought, and then I've also gotten some that are get, were given to me. So it has a nice mix. Some of these are kind of special ornaments that I've been collecting. I've had this tree forever. I've had this tree so long that this little ornament right here that says uh, 1995, it's dated. Uh, this is the year I started to drive, so that's why I have a little car. Um, I've had this tree a long time. I've changed the lights on it from time to time, but um, some of the ornaments on here are fairly old. So, um, yeah, it's kind of special to me. I like having this in my office where I work and brings the spirit of the holidays with me wherever I go. Okay, so off to the kitchen. I'm going to show you. I only have a few things in here. One of them is this cute little music box that my dad got for me. Um, the little guys dance around, and it plays all different songs. I love it. Um, then I have some candles and some of the smelly good cinnamony pine cones. And then um, Jared's mom just got us this cute little tin that's got all these different compartments in it. And um, she got that for us while she was staying down here and watching the dog and the cats. So that's what's in my kitchen. My living room is kind of this, the highlight of um, everything. This is where most of my trinkets are. I'll start in one corner and work my way around. So... I have this old Santa that used to be my grandma's and a little snow globe and here's lots of Rudolph. You will find my living room has lots of Rudolph. I love Rudolph. I always have. I always will. It's kind of the thing I collect at Christmas time so um, just be prepared. You're going to see a lot more of it. These two music boxes are quite special to me. Um, they both came from one set of my grandparents. The one on the right was given to me on my first Christmas. So it's 31 years old. Um, when I was a kid, I dropped it and I broke it in half. My dad painstakingly glued it back together for me and it still works. To this day, he still works. But um, because it was broken, my grandma had never really kind of let go of that. And for years and years, she had been searching to find me a replacement. And just about five years ago, she succeeded and she found me the music box that's on the left. Um, it also has a dancing snowman on it. And um, it, she... <laughs> She gave it to me and said, you know, this is to replace your, your old music box. And little did she know, there is no replacing the original. Um, I still love it as much as I always did. Um, it is very special to me. I look forward to getting to keep pulling it out of the box every single Christmas that I'm alive on this earth. And hopefully someday I can just pass it along to kid, my kids that they can enjoy as well. Um, I just, I just absolutely love that music box. So um, anyway, these next couple things are just uh, gifts I've been given over the year. They're both candle holders. I don't really use them for that. I just like them on display. I don't know why, but I do. Here's our stockings. Yes, I have stockings for my animals, in case you are curious. Dudley, Basher, and Jerome. Um, I'm very partial to that. Uh, some people think it's totally bizarre and weird. I don't really care. And if you're interested, yes, their stockings do get gifts in them at Christmas. So <laughs> they get toys at Christmas just like any other kids do. I treat them as if they were human. And I can't help it. I just love them that much. Um, and then I've got this Santa Claus, which was given to me from my sister-in-law. And I think he's just adorable. He's all wooden. Okay. Here's a ceramic, big, huge ceramic Christmas tree. This is, was uh, Jared's grandmother's, and she gave it to us just, uh, I think, two years ago. Um, I think she was just wanting to get rid of it, and um, we both adore this. I love it. I just love it. I've always liked these old ceramic kind of things. Um, you know, they're things that you cannot find this day and age. You just, the, the, you just don't find things like this anymore. So um, we, we put it up every year, and we really love it. Here's another Rudolph thing. This is another music box. Um, I guess music boxes are kind of my thing, too. I've got a lot of them. Um, these guys skate around on the pond, and it plays music, and it's really loud and obnoxious, so I won't put you through that, but um, it's fun. I like it. 
These are new additions this year. Um, I found the Light Up Rudolph at, I think at Walgreens. It was a little bit of nothing. And then the Bumble Snow Monster I found at Kmart, and it was like 40 bucks. And I'm like, I'm not paying 40 bucks. That's way crazy. But last night, literally last night, when I was at Sears with my husband, they had it for like $20. And I'm like, oh, I will pay $20 to get him. So I was walking around the store with this Bumble in my arms, holding him like a baby. And my husband's like, why are you holding it like a baby? I'm like, I don't know. But it was just hilarious. People were giving me the weirdest look. But isn't it so cute? He's just so fuzzy and inviting. I love it. More, yet again, more Rudolph. These are kind of fun story with these. Um, I was shopping on Black Friday with my mom one year. It's been several years ago. I don't even know how many. And uh, one of the stores we were going to, for the first so many customers that came in, they were giving away these characters. And um, so I was super excited because, of course, I love Rudolph. And we got there, and I got my one character, which is Yukon, who is one of my favorites. And um, I look around, and I see everybody around me has four or five of these things. And I was like, well, what the heck? You were only supposed to take one. So I ran back to the front of the store, and I grabbed Hermie and Clarice and Rudolph. So I had all four of them. Then I got Sam and Santa as gifts along the through the years. So I kind of have like the full collection of those, um, which is really fun. I just, the story with that I think is kind of fun. Then as any good Christian should have, a nativity, nativity scene, um, a manger scene, whatever you want to call it, um, with the baby Jesus and Mary and Joseph and the angel and wise men and all that good stuff. Um, I got, my mom got these for me several years ago and they're like little kids. When you look at them, they look like little kids. And um, I just think they're absolutely adorable. I love it. And uh, this is right by my front door. One of the first things you see when you walk in. And I think it's really important that it's kind of the, you know, it is the reason for the season, so they say. So uh, anyway, that's my manger. Then I have this cute little Santa Claus hanging down out here on the floor. Um, he's just hanging out. And then this uh, is my Christmas village. I put up a Christmas village. And this actually used to be my grandma and grandpa's. So obviously it has a special place in my heart. I've added to it over the years. I've added a few pieces. Um, but for the most part, it's pretty well what they had. And every year that I put it up, I have fun thinking about how they used to display it and how my grandma used to arrange the pieces. And a lot of years I kind of end up arranging it very similar to what she did just because I remember it that way. Uh, but I just love it. it it's a special to me. Here's my Christmas tree. Um, my tree does spin, and uh, I have this animated fiber optic angel. I think she's beautiful. Her wings flap, and they uh, change color, as you can kind of see. She's absolutely gorgeous when it's dark. Um, but yeah, it's really fun. And then here's my Christmas tree. This is a brand new tree to us this year. We uh, before only had, we had a ginormous, massive tree, and we wanted to downsize, so that's what we did this year. I have a variety of ornaments on here. Everything from the old, like this. This is an ornament I made when I was in grade school. And that is a picture of me. <laughs> Wasn't I cute? To um, newer things, we've got, we've, got, uh, we've uh, been given a couple of new ornaments this year. I'm trying to find them real quick so I can show them off. But um, my eyes are failing me at this particular moment. Um, this, is a, this is my favorite ornament, and I will show you. This ornament right here belonged to my grandma and grandpa on their very first Christmas tree. Um, I was given that um, a couple of years ago, and it has become the new tradition that nothing goes on my tree until this ornament is on. Um, it's really old, and I'm really, really careful with it, and um, I, I would be so devastated if it broke. And I just love it. I just love having something that old and something, a good remembrance of them. I miss them so desperately. And uh, it's just, it's not Christmas until that ornament hits my tree anymore. Here's our new ornament that we brought back with us, but you can't tell which one it is. <laughs> Big palm tree. Um, so yeah, I've got a lot of different stuff, and yet, again, more Rudolph. <laughs> I love Rudolph. So anyway, that is it. That's my house. That's my Christmas decorations. I hope you enjoyed, um, and I hope everybody's doing great. Love you guys. Bye.